Is Prince William interfering with that uh, security situation with Harry? That's what the video will be about. So I hope you do like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, good grief, subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Yeah, I mean, um, who's to say it's the British government? My last reading around the subject suggested maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's the monarchy, and is it specifically William? Or is William a uh, thorn in the side of his dad? Or are they on telling the British government, yeah, let him come? What's going on? So that's what we'll look at in this one. And there was seem like there's another question on that. Oh, yeah, and if, even if Harry pays, does it make a difference? Okay. So this is going to be, Lori Lewicki asks, is Prince William conspiring and blocking the Duke and Duchess uh, regarding all that security, even if Harry pays? Got a little... I may have to chew some gum, so forgive me if it comes to that. So this is my little cheat sheet with uh, all the uh, extra cards uh, in here. So, Lori, thank you for asking. Um, is Prince William conspiring, blocking the Duke and Duchess uh, British uh, security approval? Is William the one who's holding it up? Interesting question. But first, and I'm going to have a gum. See how this works out. <clears throat> okay, is it Prince William? Is he causing the problem? Look out across, even with these huge cards. One, two. <clears throat> okay. Three, four, five, and six. Okay. Signifier card. <clears throat> this is the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is um, the greedy merchant. The cups are passion, compassion. And so we're wondering if William is the one who's going to cause, who's causing this this um, block. <clears throat> and the answer to that is that this has a lot of emotional value to somebody. The challenge to that is this. Oh, this is the world card. Okay. So, oh, the complete end of a cycle. Wow. This is a very emotional, compassionate, uh, emotional thing for somebody. Who would it be? And this is the end of a cycle. Could this be, since so it's the end of the, uh, the Her Majesty's cycle coming up, could this uh, be talking about Charles? Maybe, yes, maybe no. And then the uh, base of this reading is this Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is really trying to hold on to your value any way that you can. Maybe this is Charles. Yeah, I think this might be Charles. Pass to this reading. It is a great big Ace of Cups. Okay, so this um, has enormous uh, emotional value to somebody. I think this is Charles. This guy, this reading, he was overshown by Diana. And if Harry and, and Meghan come back, if they're not sufficiently destroyed uh, before that, they have a huge star power. Or even if they didn't have it, that could be the, you know, Prince Charles's idea. That's what comes to me. Um, the Okay, so what is this? This is the male P 
page of swords. Remember, this deck has a male and a female page. Okay, so this is the male page of swords. Swords of truth, justice, rules, and law. And in the sky of this, where truth, justice, and rules, law reside for this reading is just a page. It's a male page, at least, because that is more effective than a female page, but it's a page nonetheless. And then the likely outcome of this uh, whole thing is, is, is it William? Uh, is a crossroads. Okay, making a decision, going one way or the other. I think it could be either uh, or and uh, William, Charles and William. Interesting. So let me get these in the right direction. So for the last four cards, it's divination, and I'm just going to go ahead and deal them out instead of trying to take them one at a time because they only have space here. So for the last four cards, this will be one. <clears throat> this will be number two when I lay it down. This will be number three when I lay it down. And this will be the final card. Okay. So the signifier card four, right here, is this William or Charles. Wow. So this is the Four of Swords. These are small term, so small uh, truth, justice, rules, and law. And um, oh no, it's not small term. This is taking a break. Ah, this is somebody needs a rest. Interesting. Is it is it William or is it Charles? And this is someone who needs to take a rest. It has to be Charles. The um, environment that that's in then is the Three of Swords. Of course, it's heartache. It's heartbreak. Yeah. And then the hopes and fears for the whole thing is two, four, five of wands. Five of wands. Um, oh, this is uh, arguing and conflict and pointless kind of arguing and conflict. And so that's the hopes and the fears, the hopeless uh, conflict. Likely outcome kind of whole thing is, is it William? Is uh, we have the male page of swords. And um, you know what? I'm going to say this is William. The truth, justice, rules, and law. And this arrangement that we have now with the monarchy, the queen, is at the top of that. Charles is in the middle of it. And William is the very least of those. Okay? So this is the male page of swords. He's got a he's got a, a skin in the game, but not to the effect that the other two do. So I'm going to say, no, this isn't William. And uh, for my money, it's Charles. Well, you know, these folks are doing just fine. You know, they don't have problems like some people in another country right now. So keep that uh, first and foremost in your thoughts. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this is the Carrivale Visconti 15th century Tarachi deck. And they're beautiful cards. They're big cards. The uh, container they come in is really um, amazing. And there's a nice little rundown on what the cards are about here because they are, in fact, uh, kind of special. Now, uh, like I said, this is sturdy. The guidebook inside is really good. I mean, it gives you some very good um, uh, history and then, of course, uh, ideas for divination of the cards. And uh, it is in full color also. Uh, and this is by uh, Theory de Paulus and Stuart R. Kaplan, who is uh, from of tarot fame, Stuart R. Kaplan. Now, so good book. The box, like I said, is great. Cards are big. And the deal with the cards is this. There's extra cards in this deck. You can see that the back of them is pretty distinct and I like noticing the back because from this you can tell whether your cards are going to be upright or inverted. Okay, so right now you can see that with this these two blotches down at the bottom of the of the of the card that you know this is going to be upright. And of course if those two blotches were at the top of the card, then you'd know well that's the hangman, so that's not a good uh, example because he looks uh, wrong. Then you'll know that it's inverted. So Blotches at the top, uh, inverted. Blotches at the bottom, the way they should be. Now, the extra cards, because there are 86 cards here. And uh, this is from the 15th century. It's also known as the, the Visconti di Madroni uh, Tarot. So let me count these off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here's why I, I put these cards out ahead of time. The extra cards are these. Um, in the Major Arcana, or the uh, uh, Trump cards, the number two of the uh, Trump uh, deck is usually the Pope S or the High Priestess. But in this deck, it's called Charity. And this is how it looks like. So this is Charity. So it's the number two of the Major Arcana. It's usually the Pope or the High Priestess, or the Pope S, rather, or the High Priestess. And in this one, it's called Charity. 
Now, the number five in this deck, which is typically in other decks, the Pope or the Hierophant. Now, in this deck, it's Faith. Okay, and so this is Faith, the number five card. And then the number 17 card, which in other tarot decks is the star card. In this deck, it's Hope. Okay, so you can tell it's a star a little bit if you kind of remember to look up here when you come across this card and it's Hope. Then, in the major or rather in the uh, pip cards or the, the suit cards, there's, uh, of course, you have swords, wands, pentacles, and cups. But in this deck, there are, and you know, you have knights and you have pages. But in this deck, you have male and female knights and male and female pages. So in this uh, deck of swords, you have the male of knights and the male, uh, the female of knights. And then you have the uh, male of pages and then the female of pages. Okay, so those are some of the differences in this deck. And so you've got 86 cards to deal with instead of the regular um, the cards that you would otherwise have. Now, to look at them, they're amazing. I've got my cheat sheet up here to tell me what I'm supposed to say about these cards. Um, these, as you can see, they're huge. And some of them are, you know, not so intuitive. You can tell from looking at them what they are, but others of them, are not very intuitive, and so you really kind of need to know your uh, your system before you start using the cards. And I like to lay them out like this, just so that you get a good idea of what different cards look like. These cards are actually, let's see, I'm going to tell you what we've got here. They're part of a collection at Yale University at Connecticut's uh, Manuscript uh, Library, and these were painted for the Duke uh, Filippo Visconti before 1447. And so that's all the pertinent information. Interesting cards, kind of big. They can be cumbersome to use, but it's something different. And I, this is kind of the last uh, purchase I've made uh, for cards. And because um, I didn't know, I just like to keep uh, some unusual cards in my scheme of things. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.